Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Over the decades, the word femininity has changed and the meaning has changed. It used to mean being a good mother, being sweet and caring and gentle. Well, let's talk today about perhaps how that definition has changed a little bit. My heart is made of yarn. It's strong, colorful, warm, durable, and forever. It creates beautiful things. I am a woman. I am femininity. I want you to think about it. Uh, when you were young, uh, maybe not 50 years ago, because maybe you're not that old, but when we were younger, when someone was said to be feminine, just exactly what qualities did she have? Was she soft and demure, very sweet, very elegant, maybe a very caring and, and kind person? Well, today, some of those qualities still mark femininity, but over the decades, they really have changed. So now, when you think of someone who is feminine, is it different from your the way you used to think about femininity years ago than it is now? I mean, have you changed your attitude on what you consider to be a feminine woman? Well, it really has changed. Today, when you say a woman is feminine, it could be that she is strong and independent. She's not codependent upon other people. She knows what she wants. She has a mind of her own. And she is able to find happiness within herself. Would you say that that's just about right? I think the first thing that we're going to talk about is being feminine really is being able to express who you really are. Maybe you are at the core very soft and shy and sweet, quiet. Maybe at the core you're very bold and aggressive. Then that is your interpretation of femininity. Who you are, your unique self, is your actually answer to femininity. And we are all different, aren't we? So femininity has a wide range of qualities, some of them unique to you, some of them unique to someone else. But they are all very feminine qualities today. I think that probably the most important thing to think about is to embrace the woman that you have become, the woman who you are today, and maybe who you would like to, or how you would like to evolve eventually in the future. Maybe you are happy just right where you are. And if you are, that's absolutely wonderful. And the second thing is, um, don't be envious of other women. I mean, I think it's really great to have a role model, to have someone that you look up to and admire, but that's as far as it goes because you want to develop your own self-esteem. You don't want to compare yourself to other people because as I've said so many times, each of us, we're all unique. So we each have something to give to the world, some unique quality that you probably don't even know or maybe don't even recognize. But everyone has a gift to give to the world. Maybe it's a very small world. Maybe it's just all the little, your family, the people in your bag of marbles. But each of us really has a gift to share with, with other people. And that also is part of our feminine mystique. You know, being able to embrace who we are and to recognize what makes us happy. And we don't have to be codependent upon anyone else. Don't 
judge yourself either. And that really is important. Well, to put it in a nutshell, the essential part of being a woman is being unique to who you are, finding your own happiness, not being codependent on anyone else, and to embrace who you are, to embrace and love who you are, and it's okay once in a while to be alone because you are happy with yourself. If you hesitate to use those talents and to express yourself and to speak up and give your opinion, then quite honestly, the world is losing a lot. Not only you, but the world is losing your opinion because your opinion really does matter and you matter too. Thank you so much. And I want you to think about femininity today and how it has changed. Uh, we are stronger, we're not afraid to speak up, and I think we're not afraid to be more assertive because years ago it was absolutely not that way. The, the few women that stood out in this world who were feminists or expressed their femininity, the few women who were, were strong enough to be themselves and to embrace who they were. They were the women who changed the world. No matter whether they were writers or advocates or scientists, doctors, it didn't matter. The women who believed in who they were and what they had to give to the world, they are the ones that really were feminine in their own way. Thank you so much. Don't forget to do something really nice for yourself today. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And of course, to share the love. And most of all, thank you so much for coming here and spending some time with me today. I love all of your comments. I enjoy being with each and every one of you. And go out there and express your own unique femininity today. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.